Rupert, uh, something just uh, suddenly struck me when the lady over here was speaking, and you referred uh, to the innate uh, memory of infinite freedom. And uh, yesterday, in answering someone's question about dealing with a certain situation, uh, you emphasized uh, that in the approach, one should feel very strong and not, I think the phrase you used, not even want it to change even over a lifetime. And there was, there was that seemed to me a, 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 a call to this memory of infinite strength. So I've remembered while the lady was talking here that the story of the of the lion cub who for some reason is is lost and, and is brought up with a flock of sheep and uh, adopts the ways of the sheep, the weakness and and timidity. And, t and then it gets an intimation of its possible nature when it hears other lions roaring in the hills. <laughs> but it isn't until it comes to a pool and sees its reflection in the water that it actually assumes, assumes its real nature. So there are two things. First of all, it, I felt very, very much the, the usefulness of being reminded of the infinite uh, freedom that we have a deep memory of, the infinite strength that, that is there. And also, it, it struck me very much that, that my, the intellectual understanding, my intellectual understanding, it's just a bit like the lion cub hearing the the, the, the noise of other lions. and it's, But it's not until it seems as though this retreat, I won't personalize it, but this retreat is at least uh, aimed at leading us to, to, the, to the pool so that we can actually experience yes. this real nature. Yes. And suddenly this... Uh, this changes changes the direction of thinking about this. That yes. it's so easy to 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 forget uh, to to not to find that this in, in not to respond to this very deep innate um, memory of infinite freedom. Yes. If 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 uh, and somehow this this approach or whatever. It can establish that. It can yes. move it. You're, you're right. Thank you for reminding me of that story. What's interesting, or at least the first thing that's interesting, is when the lion cub hears the lion's roar, why does it recognize it? It's never heard a lion roar before. Yes, yes. What is it that wakes up in it and says, that's me? How does it know? How does it recognize something that it has never heard before? It is because the, the deep knowledge of that, although it seems to be outside, actually lives in the lion. And that is what sends the lion on a quest. He's heard a sound. He wants to go and find out what the sound is. In fact, what he wants to go and find out what is the recognition deep in my heart. And then, as you say, the next stage is to go to the pool and to look and see his true face. So we're all here because we have heard the, 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 the roar of the lion and something in us has, has said, yes, I know. I know that what I am is this infinite freedom and intelligence and love. And then when we're here, we, we, come, we look at ourselves in the mirror. 
we, we look at our original face. Yes. Yes, thank you. That's really exactly it, isn't it? 